Hey everyone! Welcome to another Pandora tutorial! For this we will need a jailbroken Pandora Games 3D gaming PC, a USB stick, a CAT6 or CAT7 network cable, probably one of these keyboards and trackpad things for the Pandora. And we'll also need a USB hub with one of these network holes. Okay, so first we'll need to get some GeForce drivers for your card. Should have is already installed, but if you don't, do that now. After you've done that, install Steam. You probably got that installed too. Yep, do that anyway. Alright, and then we need Moonlight. We need the APK. Uh, this is an Android installation file, so we need to look for APKs, Moonlight for Android, oh, there we go, and we're gonna click on the Get In on F-Droid. Gonna go down, 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 until we can find the download link. Not download F-Droid, we need, ah, oh, there we go, download APK. Save it onto your USB stick. I'm gonna make a little folder called a APK. Or APKs, whatever, doesn't matter. And then we're just gonna save it like this. Uh. Okay, uh, we can install a few other APKs if you want, but I'm just gonna download PPSSPP because it's one of my favorite emulators on the Pandora. Okay, this website automatically builds the latest version of PPSSPP, so I'm gonna grab that and pop it in the same folder. Do Raycast if you like. Alright, so if you're one of the unfortunate people who don't have a working pause button to get into Android, what we can do is create a text document called Pandori.sh. Gonna edit that file. And then we're going to write in the following. Again, if you've got a pause button that shoots you into Android, you don't need to do this. This is for them that don't, can't, yes. Alrighty then, so we're going to just check here in GeForce Experience that game stream is checked. Now I've done that, we can uh, go to our Pandora. Pandora. Here we are, fully jailbroken. If you've not done that, go do it. I'm gonna pop in the USB stick. Wow! We didn't even need to hit pause five times. Okie doke, press the bottom right button here, and then A. This will scan your USB stick for all the APKs on it. Yeah, add some APKs in the other folder, but yeah, we've got here PBSSBB and Moonlight. You can click that one and then press install. Oops, done. And now let's go for PBSSBB. Where's the one that I saved? It's this one here. Okie doke! To access the installed software, we press on this little booper down here. And we should have... Yeah, there's Moonlight. We can keep the mouse button held. And we can pop it onto the desktop here. Do the same with PBS and VPP. Ah, handy. Just gonna see what happens if we load up Moonlight. Oh, it's found my computer. There it is, Freddy! Okay, if you have performance issues, you can whack down the resolution a little bit, but I'm gonna leave it at 720 by 60 frames per second. I'm gonna leave all this. Go and you can experiment. Change language here if you want. But the main one you wanna click is this here, down here, where it says change H265 settings. This will lower your latency. Okay, that's it. Let's give it a try. Let's click on Freddy. 
and it'll give you a little pin code. Go to your computer and type it in. And we're good. I was going to refresh all the games that are configured in your GeForce experience. Okay, I've noticed it's taking a bit of time here. This should not be the case. So I'm guessing that it's trying to use the Wi-Fi instead of the the cable did it did it internet. So I'm gonna get Wi-Fi. Throw that off. Plug up the Ethernet. Remember, Cat6, Cat7 if you can. Check this is off, and then Ethernet. All right, on. You know what? Let's press save there. And then reboot your Pandora box. Let's try again. Oh, very quick. Wow, what a difference. Make sure you don't have any unneeded tools or software running on your Windows PC. Otherwise, it may slow it down. Okay, so now we're in Steam. It's a bit awkward to navigate. You can use your mouse, or you could use the, I think, the right stick. In my case, I've got a 1.3 board. I think 2019 and a 2019 firmware. Let's try Streets of Rage 4. Okay, usually when you're playing games like this, you may have to check the options. And then check out the input settings, keyboard settings. Because what your Pandora is doing is essentially pretending to be a keyboard. So set all this up. Town of play! King of Fighters 13. Playing this one a lot recently. It's a bit of an ass to set up, but you can do it. Maybe use a keyboard to help. Yes, Pepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepepep
supporters please check into our patreon all patrons will get the current ultimate release mid-tier onwards will also get early access to the new feature builds hope you enjoyed that bye